morning, Eastside Nursery School. I hope you're up and ready to go and ready for group time. Can you wiggle your bottom? Can you wiggle your knees? Can you shake your toes? Can you wiggle your fingers? Can you put your hands on your head? Can you put your hands on your belly? Can you put your hands on your feet? Can you put your hands on your cheeks? Can you put your hands in front? And open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Put them in your lap. Creep them, crawl them, creep them, crawl them. Up past chin and cheeks. Cover up those great big eyes and give a little peek. Is it raining where you are too? It's raining here. I'm in my sewing room, can you see? There's my sewing machine, there's my serger, there's a painting my son did of himself. This is where I like to sew, this is where I like to hang out and sew and create things. But today, I also would like to read a book while I'm down here. So what I'm going to do is hold the book up and it's called B. Can you see the B? In the picture? Do you hear bees too? I think I hear some bees and birds. There we go. Oh, look at this. The book has a hole. So it goes all the way through. B. A peep through picture book. Did you know sunflowers are my favorite flower? Dawn is breaking on a brand new day and in the meadow, puppies sway. A bee appears striped black and gold. A wonder of nature is about to unfold. In the treetops, birds start to sing. The little bee beats her wings. As she travels here and there, a gentle humming fills the air. Do you hear bees? Back and forth and to and fro, bee knows exactly where to go. Visiting flowers every hue, she has a special job to do. See her there? And there's white flowers in this page. The other page, there were red ones. Let's see what color flowers are here. Gathering nectar as she goes from every foxglove, every rose. Dusty with pollen, the little bee buzzes, buzzes busily. Travels on from bloom to bloom, dawn in, <laughs> drawn in by their sweet perfume. Harvesting flowers one by one, her compass is the midday sun. There's the sun. And hear her going flower to flower. Among the orchard's apple trees, blossom quiver in the breeze. Carrying pollen from place to place, bee always leaves a tiny trace. Flowers as far as the eye can see. Too many flowers for just one bee. All of a sudden, bee is gone. She has a message to pass on. Mm. Ooh, look at that. Back at the hive, bee spreads the news. There's work to be done. No time to lose. 
Listen for the gentle humming. The word is out. The bees are coming. Buzzing over dense hedgerows, past the pond where wild thyme grows. Through the orchard's sweet-smelling scent, the bees travel on with calm intent. There's a lot of bees now. As lilies grow, glow orange in the sun, the bee must finish what they've begun. Stopping at every flower they find, leaving the gift of pollen behind. The bees pass over a woodland stream. Droplets sparkle and petals gleam. Water trickles, bubbles, and weaves. A weeping willow trails its leaves. Look at all those bees. Wow. As the bees fly on through buds and burrs, a tiny miracle occurs. So many plants and flowers you see were given life by one small bee. field of flowers. I have a project for you to do and it is you're going to make your own hun um, honeycomb um, out of a paper towel tube or a toilet paper tube or any kind of paper tube. You can even make a paper tube out of paper and tape it together. So uh, we will do that in just a minute. Here is where you're going to make your own honeycomb. You'll need some glue. You'll need a piece of paper, either yellow paper or something to color it yellow, a black marker, a paper towel or toilet paper tube, and some scissors. So the first thing you want to do is cut your paper towel tube into little pieces, little strips, and you can squish it. You can squish it so you can do that. If you need help with this part, you can ask for help. because It's kind of hard, even with adult scissors. Okay, so now I have my pieces of paper towel tube, and I'm gonna squeeze them and give them little points Honeycombs tend to have these little shapes together that sort of fit together nicely. Not like circles, but like more like squares or um, hexagons. One more. Okay. And because my paper is not yellow, I'm going to slide these over and I'm going to put some yellow on the paper. Okay, there we go. Now it's yellow. And then I'm going to take some glue and take a little bit and put it on the edges. The edges of the tube my glue dries clear, yours probably does too, so you can use, you know, enough to hold it in place. Put them together. Maybe I'll do one more. And then you're going to let it dry. You're going to let it sit and dry. And while you're waiting, you could even draw little bees if you want. You can draw a circle. And bees have some of them, most of them have stripes, so you could draw some stripes on them. My bee is going to have little wings. Little wings. It's going to have a little black face and maybe a stinger. 
I'll do another B. This one has stripes and some wings. This one has a little smiley face. Probably has a little sting or two. I think they have little feet too you can add. Add some little feet. And then you have your honeycomb. Another way you could do your honeycomb is you could stack them on top of one another, gluing them so that it's a 3D. 3D honeycomb. So you'd put the, the glue on the bottom, and then you take another one, you wanna put it right next to it. And it's like building with blocks. Then you take another one, and you can stand it on top of those two. And you could cut out the picture of the bees and have them go in the honeycomb. I hope you like the craft and um, show us, send us videos or pictures of you guys doing it or when you've done it because we'd love to see it. Have a great day.